Hello, lovelies, and it's pajama time. <laughs> I'm literally just chilling on my bed, um, and I don't know. Oh, naturally. Uh, tomorrow morning, and you're going to bounce around because you're on this, like, piece of wood tripod -y thing, so just the way it is. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Rusty and I are going to drive down to Connecticut to visit our my son, her brother, and very super excited about that. Um, just hope I don't have, like, anxiety on the trip. I always worry about that, getting panicky. And, of course, Duncan is winning at the door because he knows I'm recording. That's what he does. But I wanted just to show you what I've been doing. Um, one thing I've been doing, and I'm, I'm going to be putting this away as a whip because it I have ripped out the sleeves because I don't count and I don't follow patterns. So I have ripped out the sleeves numerous times in the last couple days because I can't get them even. So um, it's going, it's just being put aside in the corner of the room for a little while because I don't know. I, I'm, you know, it's ridiculous that I'm too impatient to count, but I'll take the time to frog and redo and redo. So it, it just, I'm half Polish, nothing against Polish people, but anyway, um, this is, was going to be, or is hopefully going to be a, um, little duster, summer duster. I happen to have had a lot of this yarn, which is, I leave it in the bags, I have animals in the house, and of course it's my favorite, Mandela. Um, the colorway on this is fairy. And it's a three weight, and I, I have like six balls of this, so I got plenty of it. So I figured I'm going to make this, and it, it goes almost, it goes to my thighs. And I did the two front panels and the back panel, and now I'm attempting the sleeves. And see, like this, I don't know, I just, I'm just getting so frustrated with myself because, again, I don't count, and the sleeves just weren't the same I hope I'm in, a, in camera here. Same circumference. You know, just count your stuff. What the hell's the matter with me? But anyway, so that's <coughs> one thing in that. Dunk, you could just stop. He could just stop, but he won't. But this is something I really wanted to show because I'm working on this, and this is the reason I popped this video on because um, Granny D and Ola Joe, uh, I'm, I'm sure all of y'all know them, are doing a... Um, they, or they did. It's a it's the cutest little darn thing. It's a circular vest, and the pattern was for a little kid size. Uh, and I really have like one little kid in my life, and um, which I'll probably make one for. Her, but and I don't follow patterns, so it's the pant. Oh, I, I should have wrote it down here. Hold on, lavender. The lavender chair. A uh, pocket full of posies is, I think, the name of the small one. And I think the larger one, you could buy the pattern on Ravelry, I think. And I don't because I can't follow patterns. But it's a circular, it's like a big mandala. And then there's sleeve holes that I made. And then the whole, I'll try to show you the stitches. And I made this out of mandala also because I love it and I have lots of mandala. But this is, all right, so I started watching the Lavender Chairs tutorial. And I think I made it, oh, I'm actually showing it the wrong side, but what difference does it make? Um, I started the center, literally the number of stitches. And then I think I went like two or three rounds following the... Um, the tutorial for the small and then I just like I can't you know I, I don't I'm not that talented as far as following directions I can't even make food with directions I have to just make it up so what I did was literally um just I'm making it up as I go along so it's really not difficult um and what I did was I got the circle to about you know, to there. I mean, let me back up here. I got the circle to there and held it up to myself and said, oh, okay. So like if I go from here to here, that's like a sleeve and then felt down here. And I said, okay. So when I got 
when I felt that this was enough to, to be a vest, because the last one I did was a complete flop. It's so tiny. Um, I just counted out 20 and, you know, stitch markered it and went from the top, got to there, skipped 20 stitches, added a little bit in the front, um, and then just kept going around and I'm just making up stitches as I go. So this last one I'm doing here is like a double crochet chain two and I'm only skipping one stitch. So it gives it a little bit more cause you want to add so it gets bigger and I'm just making up stuff as I go along. So this one here I'm doing and then I thought maybe I'll try to do the next thing would be like a granny stitch. I don't know, but yeah, I just thought I loved it. I'll let me tell you what the, I think it's gnome. But let me check. Yeah, I was wrong. Knock on wood, the Mandela Tweed Stripes. And any of you all know that. If you know anything about my channel, my absolute favorite all-time yarn is Mandela Tweed Stripes. So when is my birthday? In February. If you would like to buy me a gift, <laughs> please don't. But I love the Tweed Stripes. I, I could work with this all day. There's just something about the, the colors and... I think it's a four weight or, yeah, this is a four weight. And four weight and three weight are my two favorite weights. So um, when I go to Connecticut, um, I'm renting a room at my son's apartment um, so that I can go and hang out down there and not feel like I'm, well, not that I would be burdening him, but it's, this way it's my own little spot. And I do have some heavy crocheting, uh, thick yarn down there and my hook and everything. So I don't have to like, carry yarn back and forth and and those items I'm making for him so when I go to this weekend I'll hopefully can finish up I think I'm making him a, another blanket I think and um area like area rugs for his house but out of a really thick yarn so you know because it's he's on his feet all the time at work on cement and this way if I could put something soft and cushy for him to stand on when he's home I thought it'd be nice plus Apollo my grandson cat he could lay on them yeah so that's that's what I'm doing and I just thought I'd pop on I haven't been throwing videos there's so many there's so many new channels uh out there and I'm really trying so hard to watch as many of you guys as I possibly can I don't always comment sometimes I fast forward a little bit because there's only 24 hours in a day but I really am trying so hard to support as many of you as possible and um, I do pop a thumbs, even if I'm just, even if I accidentally hit on something that I wasn't planning on watching, I'll, I'll always hit a thumb just to give you the thumb and then let it, let it go a little bit. Um, even some of you, some of you, I, I do watch the, uh, I try to watch like the, the, the commercials and stuff though. I did figure out or find out, I didn't figure it out because whatever, but um, I did find out that when you, if you join YouTube Prime, when you want, you won't get commercials, but the content creators get credit as if you watched all their commercials. Now, this is what I am led to believe. I don't know how true that is, but so I, depending on, I'm going to look at my budget. Like I said, I have a little, now that I'm paying rent for a little apartment down in Connecticut out of my pittance that I get a month. Um, I'll look at my budget and I'll try to do the prime if it's not, I, I think, I don't know how much it is, maybe $20. I, I don't know a, a month, but anyway, I'm rambling as usual. Love you guys. Um, yeah, I, I might pop on another video after this in the same pajamas. <laughs> I know I really had like BO too. It's horrible. When you get old, you start smelling and you, I don't know. Don't get old. Stay, stay, stay young. I got to let this dog out. And I might not let him back in. All right. Love you guys.